right, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the panel's quick menu. Uh, and for those of you familiar with uh, New Line panels, you may have seen this quick menu before. It uh, lives at the bottom, and uh, it allows you to access places and features on the panel quickly. So on, on previous models of panels, we've done a very similar thing. And so you may already be familiar with this process, one way to access that quick menu. Make a peace sign with your fingers like this, and then give it a flick from the bottom like so, and there it is, the quick menu. Now, I will admit, I'm not as young or as fast as I used to be, so hey, I can't always make that work perfectly every single time. Don't panic. If it doesn't immediately come up, there are other ways to access that quick menu, like over here, where we have the power button and the series of buttons over here in this little console area. We can, on the far right, access a button that looks like three lines stacked on top of each other. Go ahead and give that a press. And hey, look at that. That's the quick menu. So that's, that's the way to do it if you can't make the flick happen. That's, so don't panic about that. Also, if you have access to the panel's remote control, uh, and I'm going to hold up the camera like this, because where my index finger is, right there, there's the quick menu button on the remote control. So you can access it that way as well. And then we have access to, again, uh, places and features on the panel. We got one touch access to those things. Right up at the top, well, you can instantly recognize the sliders for volume and for brightness. And then over here, we have some individual buttons. I'll just go through those quickly because uh, so we won't go too deep in the features. I'll have other videos that go more in depth uh, on some of these features. But real quick, we of course have a, we have a home button. So if I was someplace else other than the home screen, that would be one way to get me back to the home screen. Sources, I'll go ahead and press that. Yeah, that accesses all of the individual ports on the panel. Now, notice that most of them, in my case, are grayed out. It will only show you what's plugged in by lighting it up in white. See, if it was lit up in white, like the OPS, that's the only thing I have connected to this panel. Uh, so that, that built-in PC, that's lit up in white. Everything else is grayed out because I don't have anything else plugged in. But if I did, whatever port I have that plugged into, that's going to be lit up in white. The file viewer and new line cast, those also make an appearance there. So. Uh, those are other play. This is another place, excuse me, to access those particular features. And then we have a settings button, which of course is for panel settings. There's a split screen button. That's interesting. We will talk about that in um, later videos. But the idea behind it is it allows you to choose two apps and then have them each take half the screen. So there is an actual split screen mode uh, on the Q series. There's a button here that allows you to choose between palm erasers. So when you're in, say, the embedded whiteboard, or if you're using an, uh, a program that has annotation tools and supports a palm eraser, uh, not everything does, but a lot of things do uh, in terms of programs that have annotation tools. Uh, a lot of them do. So you can choose one or the other between palm eraser and palm rejection. You can't have both. You have to make a choice. But that's the button that allows you to choose between erasing with your palm or having palm rejection so you can write. Uh, more easily that way. So that's that's the button that does that. There's a screen lock button. I'll go ahead and press that one. And yeah, exactly as it says. So if you if you want to stay logged into your panel, but you need to walk away for a second, you can use that screen lock and walk away and nobody can mess with anything because you actually have to touch the lock there and log in with your pin to get back in. Mine is all zeros. So there we go. So I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up with this button right here. Get that quick menu back on the screen. Uh, last but not least, in that section, we have a logout button, which mirrors that logout button right there. Uh, so that's a nice, easy way also for us to log out of the panel. Uh, and then finally, this section here, we have some interesting buttons. There's a freeze button that allows us to lock the image in place. It'll actually put a little snowflake on the screen right here, showing you that it is frozen. Uh, so that if you want to, like if you have a laptop plugged in and you don't want uh, folks in, in the audience to be able to see what's going on. You can freeze the screen, do something real quick, and then just touch the panel. Just touch the screen to unfreeze. I made the menu go away. Uh, and that will make the snowflake go away. And then you know the screen is unfrozen. I'll bring that menu back up again. And we have a button to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. We have a button for sound only, which is similar to freeze, except that it blanks the screen. But if you're playing some audio, the audio will continue uh, to play through the speakers. And then to get it back, so the in order to get the picture back on the screen, once again, we'll use the remote control to do that. So you have to have access to the remote, but then there's a sound only button again, where my index finger is right there, that allows you to, to fire it up and put the image back on the screen. So there's a sound only button. 
and then um, mutant button, then that's self-explanatory. Uh, classroom tools, that is, and we'll talk about this in another video, um, new line classroom tools. So bring up the window that has some widgets that you can use with existing content. We'll talk about that uh, down the road. That's a quick way to access that. I'm gonna bring it up one more time. And then um, this toolbar button, this is interesting. So you see, I have my side toolbars here and it's easy to collapse them. And of course I made the menu go away. It's easy to collapse them and, and kind of keep them out of your way. And you can move these up and down like so. But if we really wanted to get them out of our way, you know, just temporarily, there's a toolbar button right there. Give that a press, you can see it makes them go away. And then turn it back on, see it's lit up, and sure enough, our toolbars are back. So that's a quick look at the panel's quick menu, giving you easy access to other features and places on the panel.